The year 2457 marked a pinnacle of interstellar cooperation within the Galactic Union, a coalition of planets including Earth, the Oceanic Vespera, and the Volcanic Ignis. But as the universe would have it, tranquility was but a temporary grace. In the command center of the Galactic Emergency Response Fleet, Commander Leo Stanton, a man whose very presence commanded respect, monitored the holoscreens with a seasoned eye. The calm before the storm was palpably silent, punctuated only by the soft hum of the space station's life support systems. Suddenly, alarms blared, slicing through the quiet. Leo's focus sharpened as reports flooded in. Ignis was convulsing with its most violent eruptions in centuries. Vespera's vast oceans whipped into furious storms, threatening colossal tidal surges, and near a crucial space colony, Solar flares disrupted critical life support systems. Report. Leo's voice cut through the chaos, as calm as it was commanding. Lieutenant Mira Zeng, her expression grave, responded swiftly. Sir, we've got simultaneous level 5 disasters on three fronts. Ignis lava flows are already consuming settlements. Vespera is minutes from catastrophic floods and the colony's shielding is failing against solar radiation. Leo nodded, processing the gravity of each word. His next actions would determine the fate of millions. Prep the fleet. Launch in 20. I want updates on evac capabilities and environmental shields on my desk in 5. His team snapped to action, the weight of their tasks evident in their swift movements. Leo's mind raced plotting trajectories and calculating the slim margins of error that defined space rescue operations. Yet, amidst the urgency, his heart bore the resolve of humanity's vow to never stand idly by when others faced peril. This was the Galactic Union's darkest hour, and under Leo's leadership, humanity would light the way. Commander Leo Stanton stood at the heart of the Galactic Emergency Response Fleet's command center his gaze sweeping over the panoramic views of the holoscreens, each displaying the escalating crises on Ignis, Vespera, and the endangered space colony. The stakes were monumental and time unforgivingly scarce. Zeng, status on the fleet. Leo's voice was a beacon of authority amid the brewing storm. Lieutenant Zeng, coordinating communications, replied without missing a beat. All units are green for launch, Commander. Teams Alpha through Gamma are briefed and en route to the launch bays. Leo nodded, his mind a whirlwind of strategy. And the tech? Are the heat shields and anti-radiation meds loaded? Yes, Commander. Also, the water extraction pumps for Vespera are double-checked. We're as ready as we'll ever be. As the teams prepared, Leo turned his attention to the virtual map. His fingers danced across the interface, pulling up Ignis's topography. The planet's fiery temperament was nothing new, but the scale of these eruptions was unprecedented. Settlements at the base of the Ashen Ridge faced imminent obliteration by lava flows. Switching the view to Vespera, Leo assessed the hurricane's projected path. The tidal forces were monstrous, threatening to swallow coastal habitats whole. His decision to deploy the fleet's most advanced aquatic rescue units there was a gamble, but one he was prepared to take. Commander, all ships are in position, announced Major Anaya Serrano, the fleet's operations officer. Excellent. Launch on my command, Leo directed, his voice the calm in the proverbial storm. As the rescue ships blasted off, their engines a thunderous promise of hope, Leo remained anchored in the command center his eyes tracking every movement across the galaxy. The room filled with the soft glow of the departing ships, a stark contrast to the dark void outside. Meanwhile, on Ignis, Captain Helena Ruiz, the leader of Team Alpha, faced her own battle. As her ship descended through the choking ash clouds, her comms crackled to life. Alpha Team, this is Stanton. What's your ETA to the Ashen Ridge? Five minutes, Commander. The lava's moving faster than anticipated. We're going to need a clear path for the evac transports, Helena responded, 
her voice steady despite the turbulence. Back on Vespera, Team Beta was deploying giant submersible pumps. Their designs a testament to human ingenuity. Through roaring winds and pelting rain, Captain Joey Chen coordinated with his crew, ensuring every device was operational. Keep those pumps anchored. We need to divert these floodwaters away from the residential zones. He shouted over the howl of the storm. Simultaneously, on the beleaguered space colony, Dr. Lena Kim of Team Gamma supervised the distribution of anti-radiation medication. The solar flares had wreaked havoc, leaving the colony shielding compromised. We need to stabilize these patients now. Set up the mobile medical units here and here, she instructed, pointing to the makeshift map on her tablet. Back at the command center, Leo watched as his teams worked tirelessly across the afflicted regions. Each group faced unique challenges, but their resolve was unified by a common purpose, save as many lives as possible. Commander, we have an update from Ignis, Zeng reported. Team Alpha has successfully evacuated the settlements at the foot of Ashen Ridge. They're now assisting with firefighting efforts to contain the lava flow. And Vespera? Leo asked, his voice tinged with concern. The situation is stable for now. The pumps are holding, and flood levels are receding. Team Beta is monitoring for any changes in the storm's intensity. With each report, a small wave of relief washed over Leo, but he knew the battle was far from over. As he prepared for the next phase of operations, his resolve hardened. This is what we train for, Leo mused aloud, his statement more a reaffirmation of his commitment than a mere observation. This is why we're here to ensure that even as planets burn, humanity's light shines brighter than any star in the galaxy. The hum of engines and the clatter of equipment filled the air as the Galactic Emergency Response Fleet ships descended through the atmospheres of Ignis, Vespera, and the space around the beleaguered colony. Inside each vessel, teams braced themselves for the trials ahead, their missions clear and their resolve unbreakable. On Ignis, the ground crew hustled to prepare for Captain Helena Ruiz and her team's arrival. The volcanic planet's surface glowed ominously beneath them, a stark reminder of the peril they faced. As the ship touched down, the heat and pressure sensors spiked, sending data streaming back to the command center where Commander Leo Stanton monitored their progress. Ruiz, talk to me. What's your situation on the ground? Leo's voice crackled through Helena's headset as she surveyed the apocalyptic landscape. Lava flows are more extensive than we anticipated, Commander. We're setting up barriers and rerouting the evac routes to safer zones. It's going to be tight, but we'll make it work, Helena replied, her voice a mix of determination and concern. Back on Vespera, Captain Jaya Chen and his team were waist-deep in water working under punishing rain to stabilize the massive submersible pumps. The storm raged around them, a furious spectacle of nature's might. Jay coordinated with his team through hand signals and shouted commands, each member moving with precision, despite the chaos. Keep those anchors secure. We can't afford a break now, Jay yelled over the storm's roar. His team responded with a coordinated effort, reinforcing the equipment that held back the deluge threatening the coastal settlements. Meanwhile, in the space colony, Dr. Lena Kim and Team Gamma faced a different kind of storm. Solar flares continued to bombard their temporary shields, each wave testing the limits of their emergency protocols. Inside the hastily erected medical tents, Lena administered anti-radiation treatments to affected colonists. Stanton, the initial treatments are stabilizing the patients, but we need to fortify our position against these flares. Any delay could be catastrophic, Lena reported, her voice tense as she adjusted the settings on a medical device. Understood, Kim. Reinforcements are on the way. Hold tight, Leo responded, his fingers flying over the control panel to reroute additional supplies and support to the colony. As each team adapted to their unique challenges, the spirit of human ingenuity and bravery shone through. 
Despite the diverse environments and the relentless forces they battled, the resolve of the fleet never wavered. On Vespera, as Joey and his team finally secured the last of the pumps, he allowed himself a brief moment to watch the storm's fury being tamed. The waters began to recede, revealing the grateful faces of the planet's inhabitants who had watched from higher ground. Back on Ignis, Helena oversaw the successful deployment of thermal barriers, diverting the lava flow away from the most vulnerable settlements. Her team's quick thinking and relentless effort saved countless lives, a testament to their training and courage. In the command center, Leo watched with a mix of pride and relief as reports of success flowed in from across the galaxy. His teams, spread thin across dangerous fronts, had held firm, embodying the best of humanity's values and capabilities. This is Commander Stanton to all units, Leo broadcasted across the fleet's network, his voice steady and clear. Your efforts today have not only saved lives, but have shown the galaxy the strength of our union. Let's bring it home. Across the galaxy, as the dust settled and the winds howled less fiercely, the true metal of the Galactic Emergency Response Fleet was put to the test. From the fiery landscapes of Ignis to the storm-swept shores of Vespera and the imperiled space colony, the teams embarked on their most daring rescues. Captain Helena Ruiz and her team, clad in heat-resistant suits, navigated through a sea of molten rock and ash. The terrain was treacherous, the air a blistering inferno, but their mission was clear. Rescue the stranded miners who had been cut off by the sudden lava flows. Team, watch your step and keep your comms open. We need to move fast, but safe, Helena instructed, her voice calm yet authoritative over the crackle of their radios. As they approached the miners' last known location, the ground trembled beneath their feet, a stark reminder of the planet's instability. They found the miners huddled in a reinforced shelter, faces etched with relief at the sight of their rescuers. We thought we were goners for sure. Thank you, gasped the chief miner, his voice hoarse from the smoky air. With no time to lose, Helena coordinated a meticulous evacuation. We've got you. Let's move out now, she commanded. As they escorted the miners back to their ship, the ground shook violently, a reminder that their window of escape was narrowing. With precision and urgency, they boarded the craft, soaring away from the chaos, just as another wave of lava surged where they had just stood. On Vespera, Captain Joey Chen and his team faced the aftermath of the hurricane. The storm had passed, but the landscape was waterlogged, threatening the integrity of the habitats. The team worked relentlessly, reinforcing dikes and repairing flood barriers, ensuring no further damage would endanger the lives they had worked so hard to save. Keep those pumps running. Every second counts, J.E. bellowed, directing his team through the muddied waters. Their efforts stabilized the situation, preventing the initial disaster from morphing into a prolonged catastrophe. As they concluded, an elderly Vesperon approached Jay, her eyes brimming with tears. Your actions have saved our homes and our lives, she said, her voice trembling with emotion. Jai nodded, touched by her words. We're here to help, ma'am. It's what we do. Dr. Lena Kim's situation was perhaps the most dire. The solar flares showed no signs of abating, and the colony's shields were failing. Working alongside engineers, Lena implemented a risky but potentially revolutionary solution using a newly developed, highly experimental anti-radiation foam. All right, team, it's now or never. Deploy the foam, Lena ordered. The engineers activated the dispensers, coating the exterior of the colony's habitat modules with the protective foam. The foam expanded, solidifying into a hard, reflective shield that diffused the incoming solar radiation. As the radiation levels began to drop, cheers erupted throughout the colony. Lena, exhausted yet exhilarated, watched the monitors as the colony stabilized. We've done it, she whispered, a smile breaking through her fatigue. Back at the command center, 
Commander Leo Stanton watched as reports of successful missions streamed in. His heart swelled with pride at the courage and ingenuity his teams had displayed under pressure. Commander, all teams have reported in. Missions successful across the board, reported Lieutenant Zeng, a voice a mixture of relief and admiration. Leo nodded, allowing himself a moment to soak in the good news before addressing his fleet. To all teams, this is Commander Stanton. Your bravery today has saved countless lives and demonstrated the strength of our union. Prepare for debriefing and well-deserved rest. Job, well done. As the fleets made their way back, each ship carried stories of heroism and sacrifice that would be remembered in the annals of the Galactic Union. The actions of these teams not only saved lives, but also reinforced the fabric of interplanetary cooperation and trust. In the quiet of the command center, Leo pondered the day's events. Each decision, each action, had ripple effects, shaping the future of the Union. The challenges were immense, but the collective spirit of the fleet proved that humanity and its allies could face any adversity. As the Galactic Emergency Response Fleet ships touched down on their respective bases, the magnitude of what had been achieved began to settle across the galaxy. Commander Leo Stanton stood in the debriefing room, his eyes scanning the weary but determined faces of his team leader's heroes, who had defied the deadliest elements across the universe. On Ignis, the lava flows have been redirected away from major settlements. Thanks to your swift actions, Leo began, addressing the room. Captain Helena Ruiz nodded, her face still grimy from the ash, but her eyes bright with the success of their mission. Vespera's floodwaters are receding. The pumps and barriers held, and the communities are safe for now, continued Leo, turning towards Captain Jai Chen, who had managed the water crisis with unyielding resolve. And the space colony is stable. Dr. Kim's innovative use of anti-radiation foam has given us a new defense mechanism against solar flares, Leo concluded, his gaze resting on Dr. Lena Kim, whose quick thinking had prevented a catastrophe. The room filled with a soft murmur of relief and pride. Leo allowed the teams a moment to absorb the good news before moving forward. While we celebrate these victories, our work isn't done. The recovery phase begins now. We rebuild, we learn, and we prepare for the next challenge. Helena stepped forward, her voice steady. The communities on Ignis will need help with infrastructure. The lava damaged several energy conduits, and we need to ensure they're operational before the next seismic activity. J.E. chimed in, Vespera's barriers will hold, but they were nearly overwhelmed. We should consider enhancing our storm surge systems, Lena added. I propose we continue to refine the foam technology. It saved the colony, but it can be improved for faster deployment and longer durability. Leo listened, his mind cataloging each suggestion. Excellent points. I want detailed proposals on my desk within the week. We're not just going to restore, we aim to enhance and fortify. The debriefing session closed with plans for moving forward, and as the team dispersed, Leo remained behind, contemplating the broader implications of their recent trials. His communicator beeped a signal that the Galactic Council was ready to speak with him. Commander Stanton, said the Council leader, her voice resonant through the comlink, your fleet's efforts have not gone unnoticed. The Council extends its deepest thanks. You've demonstrated the strength and resilience of the Galactic Union. Leo responded with measured humility. Thank you, Madam President. It was a collective effort. We stand ready to assist wherever needed. Later, standing alone in the command center, Leo looked out into the vastness of space. The stars seemed to shine a little brighter, each light a reminder of the lives saved and the disasters overcome. His thoughts drifted to each member of his team, their dedication, and the unspoken promise they all shared to protect and serve the galaxy, no matter the cost. His contemplation was interrupted by Lieutenant Zeng, who approached with a slight smile. Commander, the teams are asking about the celebration dinner. They're eager to share their experiences 
and commemorate the missions. Let them know it's scheduled for tomorrow evening. And Zeng, make sure everyone is there. It's not just a celebration, it's a testament to their courage. Leo instructed, his voice soft yet filled with pride. As preparations for the celebration began, Leo knew that this was more than a temporary reprieve. Each successful mission wove a stronger thread into the fabric of the Galactic Union. Each act of bravery and quick thinking cemented humanity's role as a leader among the stars. The galaxy would face more challenges, of that he was certain. But as he watched his fleet regroup and recharge, Commander Leo Stanton knew they were ready for whatever the cosmos had in store. Humanity had once again proven itself not just as survivors, but as saviors keepers of peace and protectors of life across the universe. In the dim light of the command center, Commander Leo Stanton watched the stars twinkle against the vast canvas of space, each a silent witness to the day's triumphs. The Galactic Emergency Response Fleet had not only averted a series of cataclysms, but had also strengthened the bonds within the Galactic Union.